So we all know I hate Flipper Zero. So I figured if they can do it right, I will. I just ordered a new Flipper Zero, my last one, out in the mail. Now, this is the clear custom Flipper Zero. Or, I guess not custom, but they're the rare ones. Now, what we're going to be doing to this Flipper Zero is crazy. We're getting an RFID and a C repeater from Midwest Gadgets. We're getting a custom battery in here. We're getting a custom backlight, which we're doing today. I have lots of plans, and I'm pretty excited about it. But, uh, we're starting out with the hardest part. Okay. The backlight. Oh, my gosh, guys. I've seen so many videos, and this looks impossible. Uh, but, you know what? I've got this one in the bag. So, here is the backlight. Bro, I can't even see this thing. No way I could solder on this. So let's see. Let's see this weird piece of cardboard, I guess. So, oh my gosh. This is what the backlight looks like. Very, very tiny. Now, this is actually from Amazon, not gonna lie. So, see how it works. I know my goat cow from Belly Tech Solutions did it with the Amazon one. And it came out just fine. So, let's get into this. So, here is our flipper, and we could just start by unscrewing these. Now, the clear case custom does... I don't know why I keep saying custom, okay. I'm just going to be yapping a lot in this video because I have nothing else to do. And I can't play music, so... Yep, that's that. But, I mean, it should be pretty awesome. I do think I'll do the battery mod, too, while I'm in here. Okay, and now that I got three out of the four screws out. We could just start prying this very carefully, guys. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just pull it out anyways. <laughs> okay. Now let's set the screws aside. And I mean, ugh. Don't you just love getting something in the mail and completely destroying it? Now there are three screws in here that we also have to take out. Thank goodness Flipper Zero uses the same size on all the screws. Because I'm not going to be switching between different ones for all these things. Uh, I should really put these somewhere better. Because I guarantee I'm going to lose all of them. Okay. So the GPIO is very fragile. But now we could just go ahead, press. No. Flipper, I told you to power off. What are you doing turned on? Doing anything but listening, fam. Whoa, well, well, somebody forgot one of the screws. Okay, so that is the disconnection from the battery. And here we actually have the SD card slot holder area. And this guy we're going to want to take out. So, we already took out the screw, so it should just be good to pop it out. Get some more room for us in here. Set that to the side. And then we could just continue with taking this thing slowly and slowly apart. Now we're going to want to go ahead and unplug the rabel, well, the cable ribbon. And then this guy should be good to come off. Oh, okay, okay. I have to start being way more careful. So this is our main board right here. And it is really pretty, I guess. I'm just going to take the whole ribbon cable off to be safe, uh, especially during the whole surgery we're about to perform. I want to keep everything in one area, if you know. So then we could also go ahead and take the screen off. So this is a rebel, wow, cable ribbon for that. And then we're going to have a few more screws to get through. So, Yay, fun. Doing a little last positioning. Everything should just come clean right off like this. Now, I do also have this piece from another Flipper Zero. And I do want to put this on here inside of the old one. So, this one should work. Buttons feel fine. So, we'll stick with this one. So, as the guy in the video called them, the nipples okay you know i'm just gonna call them the nubs i bet i that guy knew what he was doing so these are the nubs connected to the screen we have to unsolder these while pulling the screen out and completely take the screen off so Okay, so 
So the soldering on the nib on the nubs is officially off. So I should just be able to I should just be able to pull this off. Okay guys, I guess you do really just have to pull at it, so <gasps> So this is the old backlight PCB. And the new one should be, you know, around here somewhere. Has that white part to it, yeah. Has a green part to it. So this is the new one. So we do have to solder a wire to here first. So let's do that real quick. The next day. Okay, guys, I do not even know how to comprehend this. So there's a tiny pad, that little gold pad. I have to solder onto there. And then I have to solder all kinds of wires on here to the tiniest pins ever. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna do this, okay. And, you know, I'll survive, I'll survive. The flipper? Maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> solder got on it trust i'm so much better at soldering now so let us continue so we can start putting this back together oh no guys finally okay so let's see we have this guy and then we could just turn that on yeah there is weird stuff happening on the screen but it should go i guess keyword should so from here we could get this guy it's got this blue on it now Okay, so the back of my flipper is looking pretty tough right now, pretty tough. I do like the blue buttons instead of the orange ones. I think it'll look more special to me, you know. So now we could put two of the screws back on. Oh my gosh, this flux is sticking to me. So now we could go ahead, and I felt like it was this screw. I have no idea, guys. I do not. Okay, and now that both screws are on here. You could go ahead by connecting it to the board or the battery. And, yes guys, while we are out here, I'm going to be changing the battery on the Flipper Zero. So right now it has this crap battery. And uh, I don't know how to take it off, but it has got to go. Well, that does not look pretty, but the old battery is off. And as you know, there's a very special battery in my life. <laughs> and that is the Valley Tech Solutions. Yes, one word. Okay, I get it. <clears throat> battery. You know what? This one just looks cooler already. So, <laughs> Do I have to face it down, though? Uh, let's see. Flipper is right here. So I'm probably just slow or something, but I do think this has to be facing down. 
Alright, let's see what the heck. This one was faced like this. Trust guys, nothing broke. So now we could get this and slot it into here. Close that down. And I did have to detach it from the flipper board. Mainly because of how, how hella annoying it was. If there's one thing I didn't do well, that was definitely it. And then, let us see. We have this guy, which is just going to sit in here. But let's start assembling it more from here. I will say that was a struggle. Mainly because of the battery. I almost guarantee it was the battery's fault. <clears throat> Not talking bad about it. But let's see. Our flipper should at least turn on right now. There shouldn't be any color. Okay, the buttons work fine. They're not as good as the old ones, but it's quality over uh, quantity. I don't know. <laughs> Let's continue. Okay, well, I forgot to video, but uh, I'm just putting it apart or together, so don't worry. You didn't miss much. Hogo pins, not broken. Nothing in here broken. The battery's sticking out, yes. Holy crap, bro. There we go. That is it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you liked it, check out some other ones. And we will see you guys next time. And we've been doing lives recently and videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But see you guys next time. Bye.